welcome to the first of a Haters TV special player profile. No prizes for guessing which club we're at here in deepest North London. Hoping the showers will hold off for a bit while we can talk about Bukayo Saka. Why Bukayo Saka? He was Arsenal's best player last season. The fans voted him their player of the season. Gareth Southgate was so impressed he picked him up for the England squad and he helped them get to the European Championships final where they lost to Italy. Let's not go on about that penalty miss. It wasn't his fault they lost the Euros. We're just going to keep it for about five minutes or so. We're going to look through his career briefly in the form of training ground shots, interviews with the players and the managers who helped steer him to greatness so far. And then we'll just reflect on maybe some players that you want to feature in their old haters special player profile. Unai, word on uh, Bakaya Saka, obviously making his full debut um, today. What did you make of his performance? Every young player, uh, we have the responsibility with Dan. Give them chances first, training with us. Very demanding ourselves with with them in uh, in his performance. But uh, we we give them these chances on the on the games like today when, when we can do that. And uh, they show us uh, every match as positive things. And today Saka also. Uh, he played with a good performance, with a uh, very big personality. Guys, I'm so happy to score for Arsenal. You know, it's a dream come true. I've been dreaming of this moment since I was a kid. And I'm just so happy that it's finally happened. And I just want to keep working hard to make sure I can feel this same feeling again that's going up. One player, he is improving. I, I want to be calm with him. Humiliated, 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 humiliate, humble, humble, sorry, humble, and continuing uh, improving and, and, and growing up with us. To put down all the young players that you're going to change the future of this club, it's uh, I've uh, made a conscious. Uh, choice to put down the older players to take their responsibility and change the games. Well, it's a, it's a good start. Um, thank you so much for all the time being so supportive uh, for the reception I got from the first day. When I walked through this incredible door, um, I completely understood that uh, the needs of this football club are so high and I want to fulfill those demands, I know the expectations. It's only just over a year that um, we were in Frankfurt when you scored your first Arsenal goal in the Europa League game. Could you have imagined then that just over a year later you'd be a full England international established in the Arsenal team? Um, no, I couldn't have imagined that, you know, Frankfurt, I still remember it like it was yesterday, it was a very special night, you know, a dream come true to make my debut and support for Arsenal and now it's uh, another dream come true to make my debut for England and I hope I can, it, it can be the first of many. I'm going to just ask you one on, on Bukayo, who's fit for tomorrow now. In terms of young players you've played against, you've seen, where does he rank? Because this season, is, his performance and consistency seem to be incredible for someone who's 19 years old. Yeah, I think there's nothing to say. His performances were... Incredible. He's a he's a top player. He's a top man. He has a top mentality. I think that's very unusual for for a young um, player like him because he's very professional. He he's he feels like older than than he really is because um, he's almost leading the team, and this is um, a very good sign. And I think um, oh, I'm pretty sure that he will become a, a world class player, and, and we are very happy to have him because I think this season he's, I don't know if he's the best player um, in our team, but probably one of the, the best players. Every week we ask you about Bukayo Saka and it's, I'm sure it's getting boring answering how, how good he is, but it seems like he's, he's just growing and becoming more important with every passing game now. And again, he's the guy who stepped up when everyone else was struggling to find the net. 
I think he's in a great moment. Uh, he's full of confidence. Um, he's been um, really important in in the recent results. Um, his form is um, the highest probably that has been since I've been here, and uh, and he's been really consistent. Um, he needs to keep going and, and doing what he's doing because at the moment he's, he's a big part of the team. For Kyle Saka, 18 assists now, I think I was reading, since the start of last season. Most in the Arsenal team. In your opinion, how good is he at 19 and how good can he be, do you believe? How good can he be is a question that nobody can answer. It's uh, how good he is and how good he wants to be. Um, probably that's where we can find a lot of answers of why he's doing so well. Because he's a boy that is constantly willing to, to learn, to get better, to work on the things that he can do better. And, um, and he's a very humble and hardworking one. And uh, when that happens normally, and you have the talent that he has, um, things go well. It's about several people's contacts, but just about Bakayo Saka quickly. He was really good again on Saturday in, in another new position on the pitch. And obviously we're still waiting for an announcement on him. But how important is it for Arsenal, for the club, that as an academy product and a really promising one, he has signed up and it, it sends a message that Arsenal's academy products are to be used by Arsenal and not for someone else? I am very positive that um, everything is going to be done with Bukayo very shortly. Um, the communication between the club agents and the family has been going on for months and is very fluent. The player and the family knows how much trust I have on him. I think he's just showing that every week and his consistency levels are getting better and better. I'm so excited with the young players that we have. They just need the right environment around them to explode. And Bukayo is doing that even in difficult circumstances, which is even more merit for him. I'm really happy, you know, I think this is a, a moment I dream of as a kid, you know, to score my first goal for my country and I've I've come close to it, you know, in previous camps, but yeah, I'm just happy to, to get the first one and it's an amazing feeling that I hope I can feel many more times. First of all, thank you, Ian. Ian's always supported me, so yeah, thank you for that. And for me, um, you know, I think I just try to, to stick to what I do all season. You know, of course, it's a, it's a big game and I think probably one of the biggest games in my career easily. And um, I had all day to think about it, that, um, that I was playing. But, you know, I have faith in God, um, faith in myself. And, yeah, I have the, the backing of my manager, the backing of my teammates. You know, everyone believes in me. You know, they encourage me and stuff like that. So when you have all of this, you know, it just gives you confidence more than, more than it makes you nervous. such a super boy um, that is so popular with the whole group um, he's had an incredible tournament being an absolute star and he's he's going to continue to be a star oh, yeah.